The 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics has gone to these three scientists for their work on the quantum nature of superconducting circuits. So what are superconducting circuits? Well, they're the key technology behind today's quantum computers, which use superconducting qubits or superconducting circuits all the time. Let's go back. At the very beginning of quantum mechanics in the early 20th century, scientists first started to notice that at the very smaller scales, particles behaved in bizarre ways like only taking on really specific energy levels or passing through an apparently solid barrier, an effect called quantum tunneling. These behaviors had some profound implications and led to entirely new fields and theories, including the theory of nuclear decay that later led to the atomic bomb. But it wasn't clear whether these effects were limited to the realm of the very small or whether they could be seen in larger, more complex systems. Quantum tunneling effects, for instance, disappeared when looking at large scale systems. But then in 1985, John Clark, John Martinez, and Michel Diveret made a pioneering discovery. They were looking at how charged particles move through something called a superconductor, which is basically a circuit with no electrical resistance. This superconductor was part of a special device called a Josephson junction, which had an insulator sandwiched between two superconductors. This trio showed that charged particles moving through the superconductor acted as one large particle, a collective effect predicted by quantum mechanics. And this particle also took on distinct energy levels, another obvious quantum effect. It also had a voltage that would be impossible unless it had jumped over an insulating boundary, a clear example of quantum tunneling. It was a hugely important finding and revolutionized the field of quantum science in the 1980s. It meant that other scientists could now test really precise quantum physics on silicon chips. The most powerful quantum computers today, built by companies like Google and IBM, use machines made up of hundreds of superconducting qubits, with the underlying technology being those same circuits that they used to use. Their discovery is arguably the entire basis for quantum computing. 